my name is Mikael Red and I'm a filmmaker. Pero ito, ang sigurado akong totoo. I actually started as a writer uh, when I was in high school. Uh, and even in elementary, I was the editor-in-chief. I was you know, writing essays as a feature writer competitively. Uh, but because I was a second-generation artist, you know, my dad and my mom are also artists. My dad is a filmmaker. I was exposed to movies and cinema at a very early age. So it was a very natural transition for me. I think it's one of the more modern or in a way newest art forms. It's a combination of, of theater, photography, literature, and even music all uh, molded into one. And I think it's a, it's a good uh, vehicle or device to, to deliver, I guess, stories. Um, a visual medium for me is, you know, is a better canvas. I don't really have like one um, like, uh, director that I'm trying to emulate or anything. It's, it's usually just me trying out different things. It's born out of Siguro frustration as an audience. I want to see certain movies in the local screen, but no one's making them. So I have to make them myself so I can see it. Uh, no one's ever done a zombie movie, so I, I make a zombie movie. No one does kidnap uh, heist thriller, so I, I do one. You know, so most of the films I see are, you know, your usual um, studio formula or your uh, the other side of the spectrum. It's very difficult to judge films and filmmakers' intentions without really knowing them. Uh, I don't really like labels, but I guess it's more of uh, there's this maybe a trend that that people say that we exoticize our parang, third world situation and, and that's something that you know uh, film festivals in Europe uh, want to see uh, or they see it as our flavor uh, but I think it's only natural uh, and it's you know it's a common tendency for stories to tackle um, you know the lives of those who are I guess more unfortunate because if you look at the population majority live in poverty so it only makes sense that if, if let's say 70% live in poverty it only makes sense that 70% of the stories and films here will be about them I think there's, a, there's been an explosion in uh, independent cinema there are more um, studios challenging the, the monopoly it's not just three big studios anymore they're smaller uh, startup studios who are producing more main beat movies and there's been more genre films i mean even now i'm working with star cinema i never imagined years ago that they would green light a zombie movie now we're doing one so i think there's you know the, the change is happening there's more local festivals that give out grants to up-and-coming filmmakers to produce their work. The challenge now is distribution because we have a lot of volume. We're making 150, 160 films a year, but only 10 to 20 actually turn a profit. And not not everyone sees the other films. So because of the volume, there's this trend that it becomes disposable cinema. When you make a movie show with once in a festival, then it's gone forever. So I think that's the next step. I always say that filmmaking is suffering, but that's what life is. You, you find something you're, uh, you're willing to suffer for, and that's your passion. Uh, it's a very difficult uh, industry uh, to get into. It took me at least six years before I reached Birdshot, so you need to sustain yourself with that, that parang natural uh, hunger, that itch that you have to scratch. That that desire to really tell stories because if you have nothing to say and you're doing it for some other um, shallow reason you're gonna give up easily so you have to be relentless uh, don't let anything stop you and filmmaking is problem solving even on set it's always you trying to, to you know challenge the circumstances and the realities the movie in your mind is always perfect 
Uh, but when you, you know, when you're actually executing it, that's where you see that there are so many factors and elements that you have to consider and you have to, in a way, overcome. That's the thing. If if you're a filmmaker, you don't need me to tell you that you are one. Uh, you don't even need my advice. It, it, it's like a sickness that uh, you you know you have. It's it's that innate desire to tell a story, no matter what. You know, all you need is a camera, a point-out camera. Kahit cell phone yan, pag gusto mo ikwento yan, gagawin mo eh. Uh, I started out that way, diba? I, I made short films with ketchup blood with friends. And then now we're working with studios, recreating those fantasies before. So I think, you know, if you're really passionate, you're gonna go out there and just jump off that cliff. That's bahala na man. Construct your wings as you're falling. You just go out there, you enjoy the process. So yeah, just go out there and make films. Alright, sorry. Sorry na later.